Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. We had a real difficult install of a GE washer and a GE dryer on a stack rack. I wanted to show you a few tips uh, that helped me uh, th and that I developed <laughs> in uh, installing these. Oh yeah, that was great. Had to be a contortionist to install this one. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. So this was a really tough install in a really tight area for the dryer vent. The hose hookups poking me in the back as making the hookup and doing the whole thing blind. Couldn't actually see on the top. Okay, gotta get a little creative when putting a new one in and taking the old one up out. out of the way. That way you can get the new one on and then reconnect the vent without fighting with it as much. Hopefully, we'll see. So prepping the tape that'll be needed to tape on the vent using a high heat tape. That's right. Make things a lot easier. All right. I used to have uh, my you know whoever oh was helping gosh. me pass me pieces of tape through. It's and tight quarters. So. The foam that came in the washer. Problem is stepping on it. Corn pops. <laughs> oh yeah, that was great. Yeah, yeah, it went good. Just need to press on the Put tape it. a little bit more. Get it in there. And then to push it back, I'm using the arm here to reach up to push it up. Now it's better to wrap a rag on the the arm or whatever you're using, so, something okay. over it to soften it. So as you push up on the vent hose, you don't puncture the vent hose. Okay. But just a couple tricks I've come up with at getting through is I had to push this back and I can't reach up there. So using an extension pole or something and uh, you know if it's got a, a, a somewhat sharp edge or can puncture the line just put something a rag over it or something to bu block it and you know an empty water bottle would work you know. It's not the prettiest uh, job but it, it, is, it is sealed and there's no air coming out that's the important part this is a high heat no foil air. tape it's better to use a rigid yeah. vent hose for this but there's no room here I'm still researching better options for this uh, but you have to check with your local code for what's allowed uh, this one's an electric dryer so this particular lint filter on this dryer has very very fine screen so it's very difficult for anything to get through and uh, with electric dryer you don't have ignition quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. Just a test, it's a challenge, it's a test. 